Hello everyone. Recently I made a big order from cherryculture.com. Uh, I've not been buying much makeup for a while it's because I have so many and you know I've been like wanting to finish up whatever I already have before I start buying new ones. But um, yeah, I couldn't resist the temptations or, or temptation of getting more makeup. And since this month is my birthday month, I could indulge a little with uh, some makeup shopping. And I really enjoy on uh, buying stuff online. So cherryculture.com also had some sale of some of their products. So it was kind of good at that time, you know, for me to make my purchases of the items that I've been keeping a list of that I've been wanting to buy for a while. So let's move right ahead and I'll show you the items I've got. I've heard a lot about the LA um, Pro Concealer. They're supposed to be very pigmented and also um, long lasting and you know very much similar to the MAC Concealer. So I got four shades. However, I don't think they are the best uh, shades for my skin tone. So I'm still in the testing phase. So this is, um, this is Fawn. So I'm just going to do a quick search here. I'm not sure if the camera picks up the color well, but let's try. So this is Fawn. This is Toffee. I think Toffee is kind of like a dark. Uh, it's so, so close to my natural skin tone however uh, I, I wouldn't wear this because it might oxidize and turn a little darker but I, again I'm in the testing phase so I'll let you guys know which one is the best suited color for our skin tone the next one is medium beige this is medium beige now um, I remember seeing a fellow youtuber uh, using this to conceal her under eye circles and stuff and she had quite dark uh, eye circles and she was using this and I was like okay maybe this might be quite similar I mean well, quite suited for me but I tried it I don't know I just feel like it's a bit light so I'm going to see if I can mix and you know get the perfect shade the next one is nude nude is the lightest in the four shades that I've got so this is how it looks like I think the camera looks like these two shades are similar but they are not this is the lightest and it has a lot of pink in it so I think I'm going to use this to do highlighting and see if it works. If not, I'm just going to like mix with the darker color and see if I can, you know, achieve a good color. If not, I'm just going to throw it in my drawer and yeah, maybe give it away. Moving on, I have the eyeshadow base and this is uh, in the shade Nude. As you can see from the pot, I don't think I need to swatch. It is, you know, slightly in that flesh tone shade. However, I don't think this is... You know very much suited for our skin tone but this is going to be much better than using a white base I think this is very much similar to the Paintly Paint Pot so I'm going to test it out you know based on the reviews I've heard here on YouTube it doesn't seem like it's a good eyeshadow base because it creases especially on oily lips so I'm going to see if I can you know get it to work with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'll let you guys know now next item is the matte bronzer from NYX and I have two, two shades. I wasn't really sure which shade would be um, you know, matching for my skin tone. So here I have deep tan and deep tan seems to be the one that uh, suits me. So as you can see uh, this is not really a shimmery bronzer, it's matte and it does have a good color payoff so I really like it and I have used this actually today to do a little bit of contouring to bring out the contours of my face because once you wear foundation it's really flat and you need to you know put some product on so that it brings out the features. Now the next color is medium. Medium is light and um, I don't think this is going to be a good bronzer for our skin tone however I did try using this as a blush and it, it's kind of okay you know for those days that you just want a light kind of like blush just to show your cheek yeah probably this sh this shade would work I'm sorry if I'm like slurring and you know stopping and catching my breath to speak you know these braces are just not easy to 
you know have a proper conversation with so i am trying my best please excuse me if you do not understand my slurs so <laughs> next uh, moving on is the nyx smoky palette and this is the tss01 and over here as you can see it has grays black purple blue beigey kind of color and white so quick swatch now this shade over here the gray has got chunky glitters so i don't know if i would really use it but maybe i might use it with a base to see if the glitters stick and here's a swatch of the blue hmm it doesn't seem like it's very pigmented um but i think maybe with layers of the color applied probably you might be able to build the intensity with this palette and this one is the white one so let's see if i can do a quick swatch here yeah and here so as you can see not very pigmented but but that's okay we can make it work with a good base and see you know if this palette is really worth keeping in your collection now the next palette that I have is the Palladio palette and this is the um, Palladio Silk Fix All-in-One Herbal Eyeshadow and this is Femme Fatale Beautiful purples, pinky purples This one over here is pretty purple This one is a bit darker and um, this is probably used for a highlight see if I can swatch here. Yeah. Mm, this is way more pigmented than the NYX uh, palette. So now this is getting me excited. So I'm going to do a look maybe tomorrow using this palette. So let's see. Alright. From the LA Colors, I also have another eye primer. And this is the Pro Primer. It's just a nude shade, you know, eye pencil. Basically a base. So it looks like this. So as you can see, it's kind of, you know, like flesh tone but really light so I don't know maybe it might work maybe it might not but uh, yeah I think this is very similar to the painterly paint pot once you blend it out so yeah let's see if this one works and then from the NYX I have the uh, mascara and this one is the Prov provocator and it has one brush two styles and this is in black so it's like you have this one what is this this is level two narrow wiper so narrow wiper so it looks like this narrow wiper so I suppose this is like you know to get into that smaller tiny lashes and then this one is level one what is level one it's supposed to be a heavy wiper so it's supposed to give you volume and probably apply more product quite excited to try this i'm always on the hunt to get good inexpensive uh, mascara because this is something that you know it's not necessary to really splurge, splurge on a high-end mascara because it's just three months three to maybe six months you can use and then you will have to throw it out so why spend so much in getting something really expensive so that's the reason why you know i'm trying to look out for inexpensive mascaras do you guys know any inexpensive ma mascara that is worth trying you know and maybe stocking up let me know in the uh, comment section i have um more eye products and this one is the la color jumbo eye pencil and here i have four colors this one is bikini time it's like a purple color so i'm gonna quickly shine it here so as you can see it's a nice pretty purple now this is not as it's not the same as the nyx jumbo pencil i think nyx jumbo pencil is a lot more creamier than this this one to build the in intensity of the color i have to like go in so many times like this wipe it you know back and forth in order to get this um pigmentation so so if you're thinking this is similar to nyx it is not and the next one is summer love summer love is like a deep dark foresty green now i like this color very much now 
This is this has chunky glitters. So silver glitters. I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't like products that have chunky glitters in it because it removes the joy of applying eyeshadow smoothly because the glitters tend to get stuck with the eyeshadow and then it looks very bumpy so I don't really fancy products that have glitters in it. Next is Lemonade. Lemonade is a very light lime green. Uh, this is very pigmented. So this is good. This one. The next one is Bronze Summer. It's a bronzy color. I'm not able to show you a swatch because it's still in the uh, packaging because I, the eye pencil was broken when it came in the mail. I wanted to update my lipstick collection and also lip liner collection and lip gloss also. So from NYX I've been wanting to try the matte lipstick and um, this one I have three and this one is Shocking Pink. This is shocking pink. I would love to do swatch, live swatch, but I will do that some of the time. Because the video is getting long. It's very pigmented and it's really very pink, beautiful pink. The next one is sweet pink. To be honest, I don't know why I've been like in this, you know, pink face. This is a little bit darker than uh, shocking pink. So this is a pretty, pretty pink. I like this one better than this one because this I think suits my skin tone better this uh, darker pink and the next one is Indie Flick Indie Flick is a bright orange so, but it comes off very red so this is this has more red but it is still in that orange family I also have the regular fun uh, regular lipsticks the a regular tube um, and the first shade is jam jam is like a uh, you know shimmery pinky pearly pink lipstick and here we go this is the swatch and this one is Marrakesh pink uh, Marrakesh pink is a bit patchy and this is like a milkshake like strawberry milkshake kind of a shade so I don't think I will wear this on its own, however I will um, maybe match it with some pretty lip liner and see if it works. This is stuff. But this is eggplant and this is probably a very nice shade for fall. So it's like a dark purple lipstick. I've not really tried you no know, dark lipsticks. I don't know, I just feel like dark lipsticks tend to make you look really old and sometimes the colors not really complementing your skin tone it can come off a little trashy <laughs> so that's why i'm kind of like staying away from uh, dark lipsticks but i don't know i'm in the mood to try that's why i bought these colors next from nyx is the soft matte lipstick and this is kind of well raved when it first came out everyone was like oh matte lipstick oh creamy lipstick so finally I bought one for myself and this shade is Amsterdam. Next are the lip glosses and this one is the Mega Shine lip gloss. The first one is beige. Beige is a very pretty nude pink shade. It's really nice on pigmented lips. So I think I have a picture posted on Instagram using this shade. So let me swatch it over here. You can see. See? It's really nice. It's not overly pigmented. Just gives a nice tinge of pink, nude pink. The next one is called La 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 La. <laughs> and this is uh, like a corally pink. And here. I don't know when I swatch this it seems to me like the beige and this color is kind of uh, similar but this has got tiny shimmers in it. The next one is called Dolly Pink and Dolly Pink is what I have on today as you can see 
it's really pink and it's quite pigmented as you can see it really melts or blends in well with my natural skin tone I have very pigmented lips especially my upper lip it's a lot more darker than my lower lip and I think it's really nice Very nice. And the next one is Mega Shine Lip Gloss. This has got this is like an orange lip gloss with lots of shimmer and glitter. So, um, so this is how it looks like. You know, it's almost like a clear um, lip gloss with like orange and glitters in it. See, so there's you know those squeezy two tube tube squeezy tube lip glosses and what shade is this this is jamming jelly which is like a you know jelly red color and this one is caramel apple this is looks a lot uh, more you know pigmented i'm not going to swatch this because i don't want to use up i don't want to open all my uh, you know lip products i'm going to wait with um, using them until I finish my lip glosses and see and then I'll post a review online moving on I also have um, lipsticks this one is the uh, LA girl lipstick very inexpensive actually I think this is like a dollar or something like that now so oh wow very pigmented and this shade is a demure next one is fling so fling looks like this oh this is a nice nude lip color mm, very excited to try this one and the next is pure ecstasy and this is like a corally orange of the tube i can tell you that it looks like an orange so this is the shade oh very pigmented i'm pretty impressed actually with the pigmentation hmm that's good very expensive but pigmented so that's good but i think the colors that they have on cherryculture.com is kind of limited but these were the three that i've i did my research online and uh, it, it seemed to me like they were kind of good colors so that's why i got these colors and, and you know i'm all about colors that complement brown skin tone lastly i bought a couple of lip pencils and the this one is also from NYX and this one is the long lip pencil so the first shade is called pinky so pinky looks like this this one is plush red this is plush red the next one is crayon bush Crayon Rouge is a purpley, like black current. Next one is called Toast. I think Toast is very brown. These are the regular lip liners and these are also very well uh, raved in, in the YouTube world and very pigmented products. This is Purple Rain. It's very purple, as you can see, pinky purple. And the next one is Fuchsia. This is Dolly Pink. Oh, this is very light. This one is Nude Pink. Mm -hmm. This is Orange. Ooh, this is a nice orange. And this one is Deep purple yeah this is pretty much my haul from cherryculture.com um let me know in the comment box if you would like to see you know uh, live swatches instead of me posting on my blog because i don't want to irritate my viewers you know those who are really here to just watch my videos tutorial makeup tutorials and i don't want to irritate those guys who with all my you know swatch videos and stuff so just let me know so that i know what you guys want to see you know if you want to see these you know swatches of these lip pencils and stuff like that i will do individual videos separately doing a review and stuff like that you know given the time the little time i have in the morning before i go to school so that it's done just let me also leave uh, my 
you know, link to my blog so that you can see swatches, live swatches of the items that I've already, you know, taken pictures and tested out so that uh, you will be well informed and you can make the right decision to buy the products for yourself. Alright, I hope you found this video a little useful. I know I'm just rambling away. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.